Tonight, a good portion of our high school football teams getting in a scrimmage or participating in a jamboree. The biggest one in the area, the annual Conway National Bank Kickoff Classic. Ten teams and five games on the surf turf at CCU. Myrtle Beach and Sockesteep got the night started. The Braves trying to slow things down with the Seahawks early on, but the Beach Boys drive down the field. Cam Ward to his left. Gets into the end zone, green and gold, take a seven zip advantage. Sockesty with a nice response, they motor down the surf turf. Caden O'Keefe able to muscle in and ties our match at seven. Hawks though, moving the ball with these quarterback Wyatt Cannon showing off his cannon. Deep and finds Kenny Brown, what a grab there in coverage. That leads to the game winning score from Malachi Washington. Seahawks win 14 to seven. I'm Andre Johnson and Waccamaw taking on Devin Granger and the Conway Tigers. Early on, the Warrior defense on display. They pop the ball free. Ryan Gallagher able to fall on it and they would take over. But the Tigers do get the ball back. Granger rolling to his left. Airs it out for Derek Grant, who is wide open. He'll take it the distance, 52 yards. Conway goes up 7-0. Waccamaw able to even things up. Jared Yonker to the corner for Colin Bainey. White and red tie the matchup at seven. Tigers get a late field goal and an interception. Conway wins by three, 10 to seven. Game three at Brooks Stadium, Loris against Carolina Force. Early on, the Lions were a roaring. Jackson Huff comes right at our cameras and Quantes Dyson makes a fantastic snag inside the 10 yard line. And it would lead to this LaTontre Knox diving in and makes it six nothing Loris. Panthers though dominate the closing minutes. Zion Gilbert, just a sophomore, gives Carolina Force the advantage. They add a pick six and they win 14 to six. In game four, St. James able to hang on for the one point win over the Chiefs. And in the nightcap, sees Ainer shut out Green Sea Floyd's 14 to nothing.